Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at warewa.com. Today we are going to learn how to make the number one South Indian breakfast that is idli. Idlis can be made many ways. You can make it with cream of rice, cream of wheat, but the main ingredient that goes is urad dal that is split black gram. But today we are going to learn how to make idli using cream of rice. The number one query that I often get is people complain that their idlis are not soft. There are two aspects that go into making a soft idli. One thing is the consistency of the batter and its ingredients. The second thing is the fermentation. What kind of temperature you give the batter to let it ferment properly. The kind of idli what we are going to make today, we are going to use one cup of uh, split black gram that is urad wash and uh, two cups of cream of rice. Add two cups of uh, cream of rice and uh, just let it soak in water. You have to wash this cream of rice at least 5-6 times to get really nice uh, white idlis. For 2 cups of uh, cream of rice, add 1 cup of uh, urad wash that is split bragram and then let it soak for at least uh, 6 hours. Now add this soaked urad dal into a blender and uh, add very little water, you know, you should not make into a thick paste nor it should not be a very thin paste. Now I have got the batter which is uh, ground to a great consistency, it is not uh, too thick nor it is too thin. I also have this cream of rice that is idli rava soaked at least for 4 hours, squeeze out any additional water and then add to this, add salt and then uh, mix these two together. After mixing the cream of rice and the batter, just pour it in a bigger container because this is going to ferment and become the twice the quantity. Now look at the quantity of the batter that is there and after fermentation the same batter will double in size and come up till here. If you are coming from a South Indian home and you make idlis pretty often, you must have witnessed many times the idli batter pouring out of the container in which we left for fermentation. This batter has fermented almost two times the quantity, but do not mix it too much because when you mix it, your aeration goes away and your idlis may not come soft. You will see lot of air bubbles in it, okay. These bubbles is what will make your idli soft. Just to even out the batter, just mix it once or twice and uh, then start pouring in the container. If your container is not really good, sometimes the idlis can get a little bit stuck. For that use little bit ghee on this and then pour the batter. You know there are lot of variations of idlis people make with the same batter. So do not get confused and think that is uh, they are difficult. What they do is they just chop vegetables and add on top of these idlis. Just for the convenience I am putting on top. In fact you can put this uh, mixture before and then pour the batter on top. Then when you turn the idlis they will look really good. And the other variations what people do is, they pour chutney on top, pour little bit of gun powder. Once you pour the idli batter, just uh, put the lid and then do not put the weight on the pressure cooker if you are doing. If you have an idli container which you cook on a pressure cooker and uh, make sure that the flame is a little low and uh, you can see the pressure coming up. This fermentation of idli batter is not that complicated, just think that you are setting yogurt. So put this batter also at the same temperature where you set your yogurt, especially if you are putting in the oven where the temperature is little more than the outside room temperature, that is the best place to keep your batter for fermentation, especially in countries where the weather is really cold. Because when you cook on top of the range, the underneath the oven it is kept warm. It usually takes around 20 minutes for you to steam the idlis, let all the steam escape and your fantastic idlis already. Look at these idlis how spongy they are and because of the proper aeration that is a fermentation, these idlis will come out soft and very nice. Eat your idlis with your gunpowder and ghee or with the coconut chutney or break your idlis into small pieces and uh, 
Mix it with sambar and eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Idli is never complete if you don't serve idlis with sambar, gunpowder or coconut chutney. Recipes for all these are available at vareva.com. You can go and see these video recipes and uh, cook all of them. Dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed to learn the number one South Indian breakfast dish, idli with your wa chef at vareva.com. Remember, vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. And uh, you can see the pressure coming up.